The duck at last. What was your... There's just one change to the Blackburn side, held to a goal a straw at Sunderland last week, with 17-year-old full-back Jay McEverley thrust straight back into the team after injury. His stand-in, Niels Eric Johansson, returns to the subs bench. As for Birmingham, while well, the 4-0 thumping by Arsenal has led Steve Bruce to make four changes. Aliou Cisse and Clinton Morrison are back from suspensions. Stan Lazaridis gets a recall, and there's a long-awaited Premiership debut for goalkeeper Ian Bennett, preferred to Nico Vassen for the first time in the league this season. Two guy, the 17 year old looks for Dwight York, who's only managed to present it straight to Steve Vickers. He's looking for Dugary, he made a useful run into the area. Dugary all on his own, and he nearly scored his first Birmingham goal. It's a good block by Brad Friedel. It's Duff. Two guy. Seeking out Gary Flickcroft has made a good break. Andy Cole is ahead of him. Andy Cole blocked by Bennett. And Vickers reacted quickest to the rebound. Both goalkeepers have now been pressed into service. Thompson. This is Cole. Finds a way to swing it across and Dwight York missed it. Damien Duff didn't know. Rovers in front. Damien Duff's fifth goal of the season. Birmingham pulled to pieces by Andy Cole's run to the right. Somehow he squared it, somehow York missed it. But Damien Duff wasn't about to pass up the chance. Lucas Neal still going and allowed to burst past Clapham, who's clearly impeded the Australian. Certainly a free kick, and I would think there'll be a little bit of punishment dished out to Jamie Clapham as well. David Thompson to put it across. Savage away. Nice stuff. Find a way through the crowd. Second time he might! It's a good save from Bennett. Really well struck by the Irishman. The first you don't succeed, have another pop. Thompson's corner is deep, and York was waiting for it, and it hit the post, and then Flickcroft is close. Ian Bennett is being called upon to perform heroics in the Birmingham goal, and his return to league action. Dugary was the meat in the sandwich. Off two guys. There's another free kick here. Dugary is down on the ground again, pushing and shoving between Todd and Cissé. And players are going to have to get in between those two. It's two guy who manhandles Andy Todd out of the way. Cissé is still following him and following the referee. What's going to be the outcome of all this? There's a red card for Andy Todd. Todd is sent off. Is that the end to it, though? What happened here? Dugary was down. While he was on the floor, there might have been a kick, and Todd came in with a flying whack at him, and Clive Wilkes was right there to have a perfectly good view of it. Name soon has kicked a few in his time. But I don't think even he went for it as obviously as that one. Dugary got himself out of a tight spot well enough. This is Lazaridis. Clapham is bursting into the area. Here is Jamie Clapham. And still, he's got the chance to cross as well. It's in towards Dugary. And it's just wide of the post. And he shows his frustration. It was a measured header. He felt that he'd picked his spot. Good ball in from Clapham. Kowalski's first touch. Kowalski's bundle to the ground by Johansson. It's a Birmingham free kick. It's going to be Lazaridis. He's going to have a shot, which takes a big deflection. Thompson was the last link in the wall who put it wide. Jeff Kenner has moved 
forward. It's not often on the score sheet, but he's going to attack this one. And it's Duggery off the post. And he's looking to a higher power for assistance now. He can only be an inch or so closer. Here's Clapham now. And Lazaridis spaced across again. In it comes, and it just takes a flick of a Blackburn head. Devlin now. Back with Duggery. Trying to get in the box himself, it's still Duggery. Now the chance, and Friedel with a super save to keep out Kirovsky. How important could that be from both teams' point of view? It's Devlin. Clapham. No Lazaridis. Just one telling ball from him is all it needs. That's a decent one. It's Stern John! It's 1-1! One, one. At long last, Brad Friedel is beaten. And playing the role of super sub is the Trinidad and Tobago international Stern John. A firm header from Lazaridis ball in. Finally, Blackburn's back line has been breached. McEverly. He's looking for Thompson, who was onside. And now Damien Duff. And he's past Johnson. Duff shot! Agonizingly close to restoring Blackburn's advantage. Here's Duggery. He's going to have a pot shot. Came straight back to him off Flickcroft. Into Lazaridis. Can he create another? He's found Kirovsky. And still Kirovsky. And now Stern John! Was that the chance to win it for Birmingham? Thompson. Damien Duff again is a good option. And Thompson has found him. Duff for his second. And Duff again. Ian Bennett keeps the scores level. Two chances for Damien Duff. Been casting all their numbers forward, bar Brad Friedel for this one. It's drifted across, up went Taylor. Oh, nearly a chance for Thompson. Ian Bennett bravely down. Quick bowl out to Stan Lazaridis, but it's full time at Ewood Park. It's now nine games without defeat for Blackburn, the Premiership's draw specialists, and an important point for Birmingham in their fight for survival. They could have won it, but at least they've stopped the rot. It's finished Blackburn 1, Birmingham 1. You've had a chance to look at the sending off. What's your take on it? Well, there's no doubt about it. Andy Todd deserves to be sent off. But I think if the referee sees um, what the other player's done, then maybe we'd send both of them off. There's no superstars at Birmingham, although he's probably a superstar. But, you know, he doesn't act like when he's down to earth. And, you know, he's a really, really nice man. And um, we're just, I think, privileged. I think the Premier League is privileged to have him. And, um, you know, um, today I think I thought he was the best player on the pitch by far. Might have been the.